This is continuous analog input using the DAC MXVIs in LabVIEW with the NI USB 6211. In just a moment, we'll get into LabVIEW and show you how to record this application, but first I'd like to show you our hardware setup. This is the USB 6211. We're going to use the Measurement and Automation Explorer to generate a continuous sine wave coming out the analog output channel and being acquired back into the analog input channel, AI0, right here. This will be digitized and it will go into the computer where we'll see it in LabVIEW. So let's jump into LabVIEW and program the application. First thing I'd like to do is put down a waveform graph. We'll drop it down on the display. and I'm going to tell it not to auto scale on the y-axis. I'll let it auto scale on the x-axis though. Now we'll go into the diagram and program our application. We'll use the DAC MXVIs and the first one I'm going to use is create virtual channel. So we'll drop this down and there's two settings we need to make right here. First setting is to create a constant that's going to choose the analog input channel that we're going to digitize on. That channel, by the way, is AI0, again, which is this channel right here in our hardware setup. So we'll select that one, and then I need to tell it what the input terminal configuration is. So we'll create a constant, I'll select reference single-ended, and we're ready to go. The next thing that we need to do is set the timing. So we'll collect this and wire it up. Let's move this over just a little bit and we need to set three things here. One is the acquisition rate. So we'll create a constant and we'll leave it at a thousand samples per second. So that's the rate at which we'll digitize that sine wave. The second thing we'll set is the sample mode. And we'll create a constant here and we have a choice. We could say finite samples, continuous samples, or hardware time single point. If we chose finite samples, this would collect a set number of points and then it would stop. But we want it to continuously go, so we'll choose continuous samples. And now it won't stop until we shut the task down. The next thing that we need to do is set the number of samples per channel. So I'll create a constant and we'll leave it a thousand. It uses this number to size the buffer in memory that the 6211 will stream data into. After that, we simply need to start the acquisition. So we'll drop this down. And then we're going to be reading out of that buffer that we allocated in our previous VI. So let's just move this over a little bit. And I need to tell it a couple things here. I want it to acquire an analog input on a single channel. That's fine. But I want more than one sample. So I'm going to go in, say single channel, multiple samples, and then give us out a waveform. And the waveform will give us the voltage values but also it will include the time information. Let's then wire that waveform into the graph. The other thing I need to tell it here is how many points I want to read each time. Now if I leave this minus one right here, it will take the values that are in the buffer and just give us whatever is available. But I want it to wait until it gets 1,000 points every time. When we're done with all of that, we'll stop this. We'll put the stop task down here. and I'm going to move it over here to the right. And we'll just set it there. I'd like to read this over and over again and display this until I hit a stop button. So I'm going to put it inside of a loop. So we'll get a while loop and we'll put it around. And then I'm going to create a control. The other thing I'll do is create an indicator and I'll drop that down here. And you'll be able to see that this is going to update once a second because we're acquiring it at kilohertz. And we're taking a thousand points at a time, meaning that this loop will run 1,000 times every second. Let's go to our front panel. Let's Let's uh, press the run button here, and we're ready to go. So it looks like our waveform is locked on. It's not changing very much uh, because we're in synchronization with this. You can see the numeric input telling us that it's updating about once a second. And then I'm just going to come over here and unscrew this input channel. And now you can see that it's changing, and it's if I touch it, it's floating around, and we see that it's indeed a live signal. So this is how we would do continuous analog input with the NIUSB 6211 using the DAC MXVIs.